Hi everyone. This is the index page of our project where user can able to log in by just clicking on sign in button or if he is not registered, he can able to register through register button. For example, user is not interested to enter all the fields which are available in the registration form. Instead, he can want to log in through Google sign in button. Then whenever user clicks on this Google sign in button, we have to provide the authentication with respect to the Google data and we have to make it access to our web page. So for that, what you have to do is you have to make various kind of settings. First, we have to generate API keys, all these things. So what we'll do is we'll go for Google Cloud Console. Okay, so you'll get console.cloud.google.com. Just click here. Okay, so this is the my account. So you need to have compulsory an account. So if you go for here, you, you have, this is the uh, page where you'll get various kind of options. Okay, so if you go for to set various kind of things like if you want to generate any kind of APIs or like that. So our requirement is I want to generate some API. So just go for API and services where you'll have an option called enabled APIs and services. Just click here. Okay, fine. Right now I don't have any kind of uh, APIs. So what I can do is I can go for clicking on what consent screen and I am going to go for creating a project. So click on create project and now you can able to create a project with your own name for example i would like to create uh, j krishna rgukt okay this is the name i have given for my project and this project name can be used for further see whenever uh, if you are uh, interested to restrict uh, access this apis then you can able to restrict so you can able to uh, browse it and you can able to set it to a particular uh, um, uh, databases like particular kind of uh, uh, what we call uh, like if you want to set it restriction to a kind of an organization like if you'd like to restrict to only rgktn or if you'd like to restrict to only rgkt sklm or if you don't want to restrict then you can go for restricting that basically what will happen as i'm trying to work with my own uh, basic mail id it is not restricting to any organization but if you are trying to go with RGKTN or RGKT SKLM, there we will have a restriction for accessing only with RGKTN or RGKT SKLM. So that too, we need to have some kind of special permissions. Yes. So here I don't need any kind of organization. Just I'm going to click on create so that everybody can able to uh, log in into my website. I'm not restricting to access my website because I set it as no organization so that uh, Normal Gmail users can able to access my website, RGKTN users can able to access, RGKT SKLM or any kind of users can able to access. But if you are going to set to only RGKTN, then only that particular users can able to access that website. So I don't want to restrict that. So I'm going to just click on create. Yes, it is creating the project once the project is created you can just uh, select see observe created a project yes so here you will have the options like user type so basically we'll go for uh, external external i don't want to explain in depth just click on create okay fine here you have to give the app name which is meant for uh, uh, like you would like to give some kind of consent for this. So I am going to give the app name as once again, Jay Krishna, RGPT. both are same. Meaning that, see whenever, uh, whenever a user is trying to log in by clicking here, it is going to ask for some kind of consent, some kind of consent. Like that consent uh, will be, uh, let me take some kind of uh, Swayam, dot government dot org or dot in you can understood that if i am going to click on sign in or register 
sign or register if i am trying to click on google google it will ask for some kind of consent right choose an account to continue so this is what you call it as consent to whom you are going to continue that if you would like to specifically show to the users then i will give that name so i am making giving it as uh, make digitize jk so this is the consent name i am going to provide make digitize jk now you have to give some support mail id that the primary mail id i am going to give and uh, i don't want to go for app logo app domain all these things i will just go for uh, giving the contact information okay and then i am going to click on save and continue okay fine here i don't need to set any kind of thing i'll just click on save and continue okay i'll just click on no need to test the users i'll just click on uh, save and continue see observe the app name is make this day jk and support mail is so and so and i don't need i don't have any kind of uh, apis all these things i don't want to test any users i'll just click on uh, back to dashboard okay so this is the project i have created this is the project i have created okay fine so my project name is j krishna arjukati in that i can able to create any number of uh, uh, what we call consents okay so once i created a consent then i can able to create the credentials for it by clicking on this one because we need to access the data right which is from the google so that for that i will need to create credentials just by clicking on uh, create credentials so what kind of credentials required for example my i required authorization credentials then i can go for uh, what client id just click on what client id if you want to access some kind of data then you can go for api key all those things okay next uh, we need to go for application type what kind of application you are trying to implement i am trying to implement a web application yes yes so for, so this uh, name this name is meant for basically what will happen is whenever you are trying to create a credentials under this credentials you can able to use uh, it for multiple times i mean if you would like to create multiple type, multiple different type of credentials see under one particular uh, project you can able to create almost 10 credential 10 type of credentials so for each and every type of credentials you if you would like to give your own uh, name for the remembrance purpose then you have to give that corresponding name so for example i am giving first time credentials if you are trying to access for second time then you can go for second time credentials so that it is remember for us not for the purpose of uh, any use specific use okay then uh, i'll go for click on uh, create okay so before going to click on create i need to go for uh, authorized javascript origins okay i don't want to create this i don't want i want to uh, uh, authorize uh, redirect urls so so okay fine here authorized javascript origins meaning that we have to specifically mention what kind of domain request i need to accept see for example if you would like to restrict to only the requests which are coming from rgktn then only i need to uh, give my data i need to give the data to the corresponding website for example if i am giving the uri as rgktn this particular id this particular credentials whatever we are going to create these credentials are responding for only the corresponding rgktn user id rgktn domains if i am trying to create the authorized uris as rgkt sql then these credentials will work for only rgkt sql rgkt sql so now these credentials want to work for what kind of uh, 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 webs what kind of uh, thing we need to work it for uh, local host so what i can do is i can go for http colon forward slashes i want to work for local host so i made it as a 
http colon double slash local host this is the one next once it has asked this once it has accessed this meaning that once it has successfully done with the login part where i need to redirect i need to redirect to that i am going to define here okay that redirection is redirection is you can observe here that redirection is i need to redirect it to c drive xam hdocs rgkt jayavot in that i need to go for g hyphen callback.php so up to here it is localhost up to hdoc it is localhost localhost slash rgkt slash jayavot dot like that so we need to write the complete thing http colon double slash localhost slash i need to provide uh, rgkt rgkt slash uh, g hyphen okay in the rgkt you are having once again jaya underscore both jaya underscore o -A -T -H. O -A -U -T -H. okay fine in that i need to give uh, g hyphen callback dot php g hyphen callback dot php okay fine so this is the url you have to do so this this should be make it correct localhost rgkt jaya underscore oath and then you have to go for g callback dot php just click on create now your oath client is going to be created oath client is going to be created if you want you can able to download that download that and you can copy it so which are available already directly here no need to go for further okay this is the way you can able to create worth client credentials okay fine in the next session we'll continue further